Hi there, I'm Daniel Seberg in the Stern Up America HD Social Lounge, and I'm joined by Danelle Lewin, yeah. who is the Corporate Vice President for Strategic and Emerging Business Development at Microsoft. That's right. Little known company. Yeah. People have heard of Microsoft. Sure. Been around for a few years. Big software company, yeah. 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 <laughs> and you've been involved with startups for a long time yourself. That's right. Is there one particular lesson that you've learned over the years that you can impart on young entrepreneurs? And I mean, that's tough to sort of winnow it down to one piece of advice, but is there something you've learned that you really would give that advice to any startup? Company? Well, I have a real firm belief that entrepreneurs should start with a market. They should have context on their customer and their market, depending upon how they define their business. Uh, and if they don't focus and start with a market in that context, they typically, um, end up scattered as opposed to narrowing and driving towards their vision. So uh, my primary advice is start with the market. Now, how important is it to, frankly, get along with the people you're working with, to have that common oh, yeah. idea, that shared vision? You know, if it's, it's starting out as, you know, under a dozen people, mm -hmm. maybe even a handful of people, yeah. be able to be in the same room together yeah. and coexist long hours. How important are those relationships? Here's another thing that I think is, is actually what I was going to comment on a moment ago, is I think you have to know your strengths, because inevitably they're, they're core to your weaknesses as well. So I'm a firm believer that there are very few well-rounded individuals, but you can create a well-rounded team. And so you have to start with your own strengths and then complement your strengths with your co-founders and your extended staff and team. And there are many ways to do that diagnostic. And there are lots of you know, uh, consultants and books and things that you can look at and tests you can take to, to drive to that. But you have to know yourself. If you're not honest about that, you won't build the right team. Now, recognizing failure is a big part of any sort of knowing that whether to pivot and maybe change your strategy or mm -hmm. keep pushing forward. But uh, maybe not being afraid to fail, is that the... Well, there's a, there's a fundamental saying here in Silicon Valley, and I've been living and working here since 1976, and I've done a whole series of startups, and some have failed and some have succeeded, and the best way to fail is to fail quickly, uh, <laughs> early, and, and know uh, not sort of be a living dead and linger. And so, you know, many businesses uh, take a long time, uh, but it's a meandering path, and so the main thing is to understand uh, where you have failed, where you've hit a dead end, and how to transition. Just quickly, a few seconds left. Any particular mentor you can point out over the years who've, who've, who's helped you with your success? Well, in context, I think Regis McKenna is someone that I worked with a long time ago. I wouldn't say um, I worked with him early, early on at Apple. I was part of the team that helped build the Mac at Apple, et cetera. And so Regis was a fundamental uh, and pivotal person in terms of designing my thought process and thinking about the market. All right, Danilo, thank you so much for your time for Microsoft. Thanks, Daniel. We appreciate Frank, it. Glad to be here.